Hello everyone. On this video, we will look at how to write decimal values in expanded form. And actually, it will go for decimals and whole numbers, but you can write it in just decimals. Well, on this, on this video, we're focusing more on the decimals. All right, so these are the steps. And again, if you have a method that works better for you or you have a shortcut for the method that I show you, by all means, feel free to use it. This is just something to get you started. Okay, so the first step is you want to write down each digit, but you want to put some space between them. Okay, now for the second step, steps two and three may sound a little confusing how it's worded, but in the example, hopefully it'll make sense. So for every non-zero digit to the left of the decimal, create a blank for every space from that digit to the decimal number. Okay, and for in step three, for every non-zero digit to the right of the decimal, create a blank space for every space from that digit to the decimal and include the decimal point. Like I said, for two and three, it may be a little bit confusing how it's worded, but hopefully when you see the example, you'll know what I mean. Okay, and the fourth step, You want to convert each decimal value to its equivalent fraction and add a plus sign and add plus signs in between each term. Okay, so what I mean by converting, if you have a 0 0.009, you're going to convert it to nine one thousandths. Remember, it's tenths, hundreds, thousandths. If you have 0 0.0006, remember that's tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. So six over ten thousand. If you have 0.8 or something like that, it would just be tenth. That's only one decimal place to the right, you would have eight tenths. Okay, so if you are still writing, feel free to press pause, but we're going to go ahead and jump to our examples where hopefully these steps will make sense. All right, so for example, we want to write the following in expanded form. Okay, you have 86.42, you have 43.607, you have 5.004, you have 235 and 222,67, 22, 200 thousandths, yeah. And you have 25 and 4,936 ten thousandths. All right. I'll say some of those five times fast. All right. So let's start for problem A. Okay. Remember your first step. You're going to write down each digit, but you're going to put some space in between it. So you have an eight. eight a six, a four, and a two. So you have eight, six, four, and two. And your decimal is right here. I always write a little arrow or something to let me know where my decimal is. It's between the six and the four. Okay. Now for the 80, you have the eight, then you have one space until you hit the decimal. So you write a space there. For the six, it's right at the decimal. So you don't write anything there. For the four, it's right at the decimal. So there are no spaces, but you put the decimal point there. Remember, everything to the right, you want to add the decimal point to it. And for the two, you have a space before it until you reach the decimal. So you put that space there and you put the decimal. Okay, so all of those spaces here you're going to fill with zeros. All right, so after you get all of those, remember your decimal goes there. You have 80 plus 6 plus 0.4 plus 0 0.02. All right, so now we're going to convert those into our fractional form. 
So you have 80 plus 6 plus you have 4, but it's just one space, so it's tenths. So you have 4 tenths. You have 2, but it's in the tenths, hundredths, the hundredth spot. So it's plus 2 hundredths. Okay, so that's 86.42 in expanded form. Okay, so let's do that again. I know it's going to be a little tricky the first time you see it, so let's go ahead and do that for problem B again. So we can go through the steps. All right, so all of our digits, we put them down and we space them out. So you have four, three, our decimal point is about right here. So you have six, zero, and seven. Okay, you don't have to put this much space, but you just want to put some space between them. All right, so if you look at the four, how many places before you get to the decimal? You have one place to the right, and then you have the decimal. So you put one place to the right of the four. Okay, so the three, how many places before you get to the decimal? None, it's right next to the decimal. So no places there. What about the six? Now, once you get to the right of the decimal, that's when you start adding the decimal to those values. Okay, so what about the six? How many places do you get to the decimal? None. It's right next to the decimal. So you don't add any places, but you put the decimal point there. What about the zero? Well, it doesn't really matter because it's one place to the left of the decimal. That's would be a space, so you can add one space, but it'd just be point zero zero. That's why it's really just a non-zero, but you can put it here anyway. It, it, that's perfectly fine. And you have the seven. You have two spaces before you get to the decimal. You have two spaces, then you have the decimal. Okay, so all those spaces, you fill up with zeros. Okay, so that means you have 40 plus three, Plus 0.6 plus you can have 0 0.00, 0, that's just going to be zero, but we'll put it there anyway. Plus 0 0.007. Okay, so now we convert all of those to fractional form. So that gives us 40 plus 3 plus 0 0.6 is 6 tenths, because it's just one decimal place, so 6 tenths. Plus, you can put zero over 100 if you want to. It's really kind of unnecessary, but we'll do it anyway because it's holding up space value. Plus, seven over tenths, hundred thousandths. So seven over 1,000. All right, now the non-zero terms are all okay. The zero term, that's dismissed. You're throwing that away. So you have 40 plus three, plus six tenths, plus seven one thousandths. So that would be the actual answer. All right. So we're actually running out of room. So we'll continue this on the next page. So if you are still writing, feel free to press pause. But we're going to go ahead and continue this on the next page. Okay, so we have problem C. Which is 5.004. All right, so actually what I want you to do, I want you to try C, D, and E on your own. So go ahead and press pause and try to convert those into expanded form on your own. All right, so I'm assuming you've pressed pause and you've already put those in expanded form. So let's go ahead and solve that one. So you have five. You can, like I said, you can put the zeros if you like. 
You don't have to, like I said, all the non-zero terms, all the zero terms are just going to become zero over something anyway, which is zero. So you don't really need them. So, but I'll go through the steps anyway. Just let you know that that's a shortcut you can take if you want to, that the zero terms can disappear. Okay. So how many places between the five and the decimal point? None. It's right next to it. So no spaces there. You have the zero. This first zero is right next to the decimal. You have one place for the second zero between the decimals, so you put one place there. And you have two places before the decimal in front of the four. And those spaces get zeros. So you have five plus zero over 10 plus zero over 100 plus four thousandths. Remember you can drop those two there. So you have five plus four of one thousand. So that's your expanded form for C. Okay, so for problem D, we have 235.2227. Okay, so giving them a little bit of space, you have two, three, five, two, 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 six, seven. Okay, so how many places between the two and the decimal point? You have two. So you put two space values there. How many spaces between the three and the decimal? You have one, so you put one space there. Between the five and the decimal is right next to it, so you don't put anything. Okay, so remember your decimal is about right there between the five and the two, so everything else after the five is going to have a decimal point to it. Okay, so how many place values between this two and the decimal? None, it's right next to it. This two, you have one place value and then the decimal. So you have one place value, then the decimal. For this two, you have two place values, then the decimal. So two place values, uh -oh, let me put a little space between those two. You have two place values, then the decimal. For the six, you have three place values, then the decimal. One, two, three, then the decimal. Draw a little bit of line between them so it won't get confusing and for the seven you have one two three four place values then the decimal two three four place values then the decimal and we fill all those place values with zero Okay, so now we rewrite all those and our decimal values, we put those in fractional form. Okay, and we put our plus signs between them. So you have 200 plus 30 plus 5, that's our 235, plus 0.2 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.002 plus 0 0.0006 plus 0 0.00007, which gives us a final answer of 200 plus 30 plus 5 plus 0.2, that's 2 tenths, plus 0 0.02, that's tenths, hundredths, so 2 over 100, plus tenths, hundreds, thousandths, that's two over one thousand, plus tenths, hundred thousandths, ten thousandths, so it's six over ten thousandths, plus you have tenths, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousandths. Okay, so that's seven over a hundred thousand. So seven over one hundred thousand. Okay, so this is our expanded form for D. All right, so let's go ahead and verify your answer for E.
Okay, so you have 25.4936. Right, so instead of going through all of these steps, I'm going to show you a little bit of a quicker version for this one. Okay, so you can apply that for all the previous ones too. I just wanted you to get the process down first, and this is a little bit of a shortcut. Okay, so you have all the steps put together. So for the two, instead of writing them down spaced out, just write down the two and the number of spaces. So two number of spaces, or you can even put your zero there. Plus, you have the five, and there's no spaces to the decimal. Plus, actually, you can just make that zero there. Your decimal is between the five and the four. Okay, so I'll put the arrow there to let you know where the decimal is. So everything to the right of the decimal will have a decimal with it. So you have 0.4 plus, what about the nine? You have one space between the nine and the decimal point. So you have point, that space, and the nine. Plus the three, you have two spaces before you get to the decimal point. So you have 0 0.003 plus the 6. You have three spaces before you get to the decimal point. So you have 0 0.0006. Okay, so you kind of skipped all of those steps, but that's mainly once you get comfortable with it. Once you get comfortable using all the three steps before, you can kind of go right to this one because you have the concept down. So I wouldn't jump right to this, but you wanna make sure you have the concept down and then go to this. Once you're comfortable with the concept, then go to this and you should be good. Okay, so now that gives us 20 plus five plus 0.4 is four tenths plus 0 0.09 is nine hundredths. So nine over 100. Plus 0 0.003, that's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So three over 1,000. Plus tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. That's six over ten thousandths. Okay, so that's a little bit of a quick version that you could do that one. Okay, so. Hopefully this made sense and I will see you on the next video.